this should not be something that we're fighting for as students in 2022. This should have been here forever. Here at Dawson College in Montreal, students, a part of the feminist union, are trying to make history. They want their post-secondary school to be the very first college in Quebec to offer free menstrual hygiene products. Those part of the union hosting a fundraiser to get one step closer to their goal. I have had way too many talks with people about how they've been left stranded in bathrooms looking for uh, products because, you know, often the machines are empty and even when they're not, there's a fee attached to them. Hopefully this will be in not just Quebec CGEPs, but also universities across Canada, across the world, because this is something that I hope in a few years will be like, how did we not have that before? How is this so new? The campaign by Dawson's Feminist Union named the Period Project seeks to fight period poverty, which sees some struggle to afford menstrual products monthly. It's a requirement in order for most women to live in society, and the fact that we have to pay for that is just beyond me. So this project was inspired by that notion that it should be free and should be accessible as well. With the goal of raising $4,000 in order to install new dispensers, the project has raised over $1,000 so far. I think it would benefit everyone, not just women, but it would benefit everyone equally when it comes to the idea of forwarding that inclusivity. For students at Dawson, like John Franco, they say the initiative is a step in the right direction. Any menstrual products like peer, uh, pads, tampons, they should be free because this isn't something that women could exactly control and there has to be some kind of leniency with it, allowing the women to, you know, not worry about going into debt just for the sake of their own hygiene. For those behind the project, their main goal is creating a blueprint so that other schools in Quebec and across Canada can also follow suit. We are trying to bring this topic to the table. We're trying to normalize period talk. We're trying to fight against period, uh, period poverty. And so hopefully we would love to help other CJEPs in their implementation, other student unions in their implementation of this project. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.